All right, I got six designs for the tree right now. It is number one. It looks like this. There's a main main trunk, one that shoots off to the left, really close to the bottom, one really long one, one behind it, which is this one right here. This one shoots out to the side and then it shoots up. So we need to just sketch out where we want to make the cuts, what it would look like. So I have design number two. We take this bottom trunk off, take this one all the way back down this over here, and probably prune this one right there and then bring this one back. That's number two. Here's number three. Number four, where we put a bend in this, uh, in this branch. Number five, we leave it alone and it becomes a big fat bush. And number six, traditional bonsai, we trim, trim it down and make it real small. So I, so far I like design number two and number four, so somewhere in between here. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna remove this huge branch, bring this one back, maybe trim this back a little bit and this one and put a bend on it. And we'll see how it fares in about two or three years. So I got my bonsai uh, pruning shears. We only get uh, one chance at this, so this is it. After this, whatever happens, happens, and that's how it's going to grow. We don't want it to grow 20 feet tall, or you know, even 15 feet. Then we don't want to have. Then we have to get. A, we buy a ladder to pick the lemons, and it just becomes the roots become too big. Right now, the roots only go down about this deep, so it's planted pretty high up, and this whole pot is filled with soil all the way down, rich soil, mixed up soil. So the roots have already been trimmed. And once they get, once they start going in, it's, you have, this pot can last two to three years. So it's not traditional bonsai, but right now the roots are only about this deep, right here, real short. So it, this plant is still gonna become real big and fat. We have a few more years at it. So let's, uh, let's go ahead. So we're gonna get completely get rid of this one. So we're gonna try to make a cut right here. First, let's take a look at that stem right there. So it is, I don't know if you can see it. It's uh, this one, it's pretty low down. Someone already cut, cut it right here when it was probably one years old. So we're gonna go ahead and cut that off right there. And then this long one, this one just keeps on going. It's sideways, we don't want that. Um, well, you could have that if you were looking for an espalier kind of tree, but we want it to kind of just be a nice little lemon tree, kind of short dwarf lemon. So we're going to try to pull it back all the way over here where you can kind of already see it's becoming a little bit woody. The lines are coming in and we'll see what happens. So let's take a look. Try to trim this down. Hopefully you guys can get a good look. So, we got some sharp scissors. Try to get in as deep as possible. Sometimes it's not that possible to go more. So we got it right there. We took that whole branch off. See, we're, while we're at it, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna clip some of these these other leaves. We don't want any leaves on the trunk because the leaves will basically create more branches. So we want to just uh, cut that off. Get rid of that leaf. We want all of the energy of the plant to go towards root development and also branch developments. Not too many leaves not on the trunk. So we defoliate. All right, so it's pretty small right now. And it's looking okay, but again, we don't want this long branch to the side. Take a look and pull back a little bit. You kind of see it's way too big, way too long. So we want to pull that back. Otherwise it's just going to drag the tree down. It's going to pull the tree back. 
from its optimal growth path. So we're gonna try to just bring it in a little bit. So you kind of now see the height of the tree. It's already going up. We want to keep that. We want to keep it going up. So let's go ahead and we already know that we want to be able to pull all of this up back to right there because according to our drawings that we did, if we cut it back all the way, take this branch all the way back here, Next year, it's probably going to shoot up here and then start branching over there. So it's going to look much more nicer because it's going to start going upward. Same thing here. We bring it back all the way and it'll sh hopefully the next year it'll pull up. So let's take a look. Let's find an upward facing leaf. That one looks like an upward facing leaf. Upward facing leaf. That's not, you don't want to cut it right there or right behind there because that means it's going to shoot downward. So we need an upward facing leaf. This one looks like it's an upward facing leaf, kind of damaged. Does not look good. So let's say this one or this one. So this is the one that will go up or this one will go up. So we want to be able to make that cut before this leaf. So. Get the sharpest scissors that we have. So let's take a look, let's zoom in so we can kind of see where that cut is going to be. So I would say it is before this leaf. So right there in between that upward facing leaf and the downward facing leaf, we want to cut it right there. The next growth will either come straight up from here. So let's go ahead and make that cut. I would like to actually bring it back even further here, but we don't know what's going to happen whether this leaf will come, the next growth will come from this leaf or that. We could just pluck that leaf off, but the best thing to do is just cut it right there. So, all right, pretty big growth that we cut off here. Pretty big, but look at these leaves. Some of these leaves are just too big. We don't want that. Okay, so now it's looking pretty compact compared to what we had before. Look at that. Really tiny. And we're not done yet. We still want to be able to shape it some more. Take that new growth off right here to make it kind of look more like our drawing. So if we look at number two and number one, we want to be able to cut it right there. So it bends up and then it comes back again. It'll come back again, but it promotes new growth further up elsewhere. So. We don't want it to get too unbalanced where one side is just extremely high, the other one is really low like we saw in our lime tree. So we're gonna go ahead and cut it right there and then we're gonna bend it back. We'll see the bonsai bend in a, in a minute. Let's uh, take some sharp scissors again.
surface brush. You don't want that. We're doing this to just kind of get, help it balance the leaf flow bounce. And let's see if we can create a bend on this. So this one is going to occupy this whole space right here. This one is going to occupy this space right here. So this whole area is already taken because remember this one's going to shoot up here it's gonna also make it real thick make the trunk real thick but this one we needed to occupy this space so what we want to do is we want to bend it back like this so then this one will go a little bit straighter so it's almost like a curve so let's try that so we have some wire here some gauge thick gauge wire with the pomegranate tree and it turned out pretty good. You want to tight it real tight. Occupying three different spaces. All right. Looking good. Looking good. That's what we're after right there. And that looks more like a drawing number four. And all this is going to become real thick now. And we can pull this. We can even cut this off right here if we want to do that. Because we pruned it, this, this trunk is going to become real fat now. It's going to look nice. We'll come back next year and take a look at this. Thanks for tuning in, guys.